Tuesday looks like Ryan and Amy are here. Jim is here. Let's see if this thing works tonight. Uh, setup tonight actually went way smoother than it has in the last several weeks. So we'll keep our fingers crossed that this thing stays connected and actually works and cooperates tonight. We've got some cool stuff tonight. Some toys and some oil cans I had from last week. Plus I threw in a few more pieces. Uh, had a, I've actually had a pretty good couple of days. Uh, my buddy that I buy some stuff from around here, whenever he finds car stuff, he calls me, like we've talked about before, he does a lot of glass, a lot of furniture, a lot of primitives. So when he finds car stuff, he calls me. I've gotten two good loads out of him here lately. Eloy's here. I've got, I can see, kind of see part of it over there. License plates, magazines, toys. Shopcat's here, Bill Disc. Um, what else did I give? Oh, some, some of the coolest matchbooks we've ever seen. I mean, just, we've had some great matchbooks and these matchbooks are just... Off the rails matchbooks. Randy's here. So we've got a lot of that stuff that's going to be showing up on Toy Tuesday. A lot of stuff that's going to be showing up in on Sunday night auctions. Peter's here. Peter's a fan of the Buick. That's a good, that's a pretty decent old car. So we've got a lot of cool stuff coming up. Plus, we still got the big kahuna toy that I haven't shown you yet. We got to get that worked in here sooner rather than later. But I keep coming up with more cool stuff. So but anyway, like I said, tonight we've got some toys, we've got some oil cans that we had set up for last week, plus I've got another cool piece that I threw in the showroom poster. So let's go ahead and get rolling. It looks like most people are getting their notifications. We've got a few people jumping on with us. So we'll go ahead and get started on some of these toys, work into our oil cans, and then finally the cool showroom poster. So anyway, let's go ahead, flip things around. Pete's here with us. Drop the camera down and start checking out some cool stuff. Guy, the car guy made it. But we're going to start off with some of these toys. These are old Japanese tins. Kind of actually somewhat vague. Or at least this one is. It kind of looks like a cameo in certain aspects. It looks like a Dodge in certain aspects. Kind of tough to tell. But these are, you know, for the time, were fairly cheap Japanese pin toys. Let's see, we've got a tape measure here. Here we go. And give you a little bit a better idea on this thing. About six and a half inches long. Photo relay. That's, yeah, that's about the best way to put it, Shopcat. No doubt about that. Alan's here with us. So this one was kind of generic. The next one we've got in this load actually tells us exactly what it is. Kind of the similar type truck. In fact, I think it's the exact same truck just about. And <clears throat> when we look at, when we compare, so compare, and we'll look here in a little bit. Bill Wagon was here with us. Obviously, this one says International A100, so it'd be 57, 58, I think. Um, Fields Nursery on the sides. Just a basic, very basic tin deal. From here with this side on it, it makes it look like a cameo, but it isn't. It, it's an international, in theory. Big job made it. So when we compare the two, they are very similar. In fact, they're the same thing, basically. <laughs> Where this has the international type grill, this one has a different grill painted in it, but if we catch the angle right, we can see where the stamping is actually the same. Kenny's here with us. Where these moldings are actually painted on here, that is ridged. And this one, which you can't really see, it's also ridged, actually stamped in the middle. So these are actually the exact same truck in different paint configurations, and this one actually is branded as an international. Now, something right along those same lines of these trucks is this. This thing is pretty cool. The U-Haul Station Wagon. 
It says U-Haul right on the side. This is another very basic Japanese tin. See the interior is literally, it's flat and it's all just painted on there for perception. So but what's cool about this is even though it's a little bit, of it's got a little bit of damage to it. So Johnny, yeah, it is a Johnny Cash truck. That's true. Pete's digging the wagon. Well, it's going to get a little cooler because we've also got the U-Haul trailer. Now this U-Haul trailer is missing its axle and it's, the hitch is broken off. But because it's got the blue on it, I think it goes with this wagon. Yep, five and dime store stuff. That's right, Bill. Now, this other U-Haul trailer came with it, but it's a little bit newer, but I, I'm, I'm thinking about swiping this base and axle out of that to put it under this to put it with the wagon. Obviously, the same U-Haul trailer, just a little bit newer and in orange. I 60s is what I would guess, yeah. Based on, you know, the style of the wagon, obviously this being called an A100 puts that in the 57, 58 era window, which there again, 1959, 1960, 1961, you know, anywhere around in there. Mark's made it tonight. So I think this is all right, probably right around that, you know, 1960 window. With the exception of maybe the orange trailer, it was probably a little bit newer. Kenny's digging it. <laughs> I don't know if they used to have windows or not. But, you know, they probably made this trailer for 100 different toy sets. So they probably, you know, they probably made this as a mini camper at some point too, so. So anyway, there's those toys. Now the next piece we're going to check out, you've probably seen it laying right over here. This is pretty cool. We'll see if we can get a good look at it here. Your Chevrolet dealer is a good guy to know for two big reasons. He sells you value that can't be beat. He offers you service second to none. <laughs> this is an original 1965 Chevrolet Guardian maintenance poster. Obviously, the 65 Impalas, you know, the Tudor hardtop here, and then the one on the lift. On the lube rack, we can see all their bulk dispensaries there. So this is a pretty neat piece. It's got a little bit of damage over here, but overall, considering that thing is 58 years old, holy cow, kind of crazy to think about that. It looks pretty good. Pete's trying to buy it. I don't think I want to sell it. It's pretty neat. So there we can see the Guardian maintenance. Be safe, be sure, be satisfied with Chevrolet dealer quality service. And it's a pretty good size piece. You know, in the frame, it's 40 inches, counting the whole frame. Forty by twenty-seven and a half is what the frame size is. So it's a good size poster. But it is definitely a cool piece. Most of that stuff never survived. You know. When the new models came out, they got pitched. Nobody ever kept any of that thing, especially just being plain paper. It just didn't survive. They didn't make it. They were thrown away, and very few of them survived. So I thought that was a pretty cool piece. Now, I promised you a few other things, too. We got some toys. We got the poster. I promised you some oil cans. I picked these cans up at the Wichita Swap Meet. And uh, actually, I picked up a handful of cans that, I, that are actually for me to keep, not counting the ones. I bought a bunch of stuff for the auctions. But I bought some cans that I actually I didn't have and was pretty excited about and planning to add to my collection and we got, I don't know, six, eight, ten of those. So we're going to start off with two of these tonight as well. So 
The first one, this is a can I'm not very familiar with. It is early. I don't know anything about it, but it was so cool. You can definitely tell it's early. I knew I didn't have one, so I wanted to grab it, even though it is a little bit rough. It's a company called Penaline Oils. Guaranteed 100% pure Pennsylvania. $1,000 quality guarantee. Now, $1,000, I don't know how old this can is, but it's I'm guessing 30s or 40s. $1,000 quality guarantee. You know, most cars were two or 300 bucks back then. Take your dividend now, protect your motor. Nice colors in orange and blue. This was drained at the top. Bottom still intact. It's got some damage. It's got some wrinkles over here. But overall, like I said, this is not a can I'm familiar with. Didn't have one. Thought it looked great. And I was like, yeah, I probably better snag that one. The next can, this one also is kind of interesting, and I didn't have it. There's a couple of different variations of them. One of them is very rare and very expensive. I don't have that. This is the more common one for, well, you can say something common for one of these that you just don't see very often. That's the Interstate XL oil can. It's a Kansas City can. Mark, I've heard of Penaline. As a matter of fact, I lost out a bid for several different cans, so... Yeah, Pete said it's so bad, I better just sell it to him. Yeah. Well, I didn't have one. This can also has a little damage on the bottom, but this thing is so great. The Interstate XL Court with wings on the shield. Now, this one obviously does have some damage to the paint along the bottom, but we can still see over here where it does say Kansas City. Now, one thing that's kind of interesting, this has a green top. They actually, that's how XL identified their oils. Orange, heavy duty, mild spec, mil spec, blue, XL 1030, yellow, XL premium, white, XL automatic transmission, green, XL pin. This is a steel, steel can. We can see the seam right there. Since 1887, Interstate Oil Specialized Lubrication, quality guaranteed and certified. This was a green top can, SAE 30. So they had the same can with a different color top to identify what it was. So I said, did not have one of these. There's one earlier version of this that's extremely rare and valuable. I do not have it. I was super excited to go ahead and snag this one at least to add to the collection. Now, like I told you guys, I found a bunch, I bought a bunch of cool stuff yesterday. I bought a bunch of cool stuff this weekend. I had these cans out for last week's episode already. I had all these toys out, and I had these two cans out ready to share with you guys. Now, today, when I told you I found some really cool stuff today, I found some cool stuff to add to tonight's chat that is directly related to one of these cans. Now, like I told you, this XL can from Kansas City, these are pretty rare cans. This is the more common one. The earlier one is extremely rare and valuable. This one, not so much, but you still don't see them very regularly. So, you know, this is still probably a $100 oil can, you know, at least, you know, because they're just hard to find. The other ones are several hundred, if not more. So this one here, I thought was super cool and glad to get, especially being a Kansas City can. Well, when I was out shopping today at my buddy's place, I told you I found some cool matchbooks and I found some really cool matchbooks. We're going to share two of them with you tonight because they are also XL. There's the first one, and there's the second one. Had not seen these before. So I was kind of excited about these as well. This one was from the George Asplin Station in Wichita, Kansas. Specialized lubrication for heavy-duty equipment. Reaches the top piston ring. The other one from the Belleville Hotel, Elliott Motors, or the Elliott Hotel in Belleville, Kansas. And on this one, this is really cool because 
It actually says lubrication is our business. We manufacture all of our oils, greases, and lubricants. Over a half century of practical experience is your guarantee. Remember, today's requirements are exacting. Since 1887, Interstate Oils <clears throat> stand the gaff. Interstate Oil Company, 87 Shawnee Avenue, Kansas City, Kansas. <clears throat> now, what's cool about this is the inside of this one actually has the factory picture. So needless to say, having this can already out ready for tonight and then finding these to go with it today, I was pretty excited. Uh, no, Chunky Butt is in the office. That's just a pain in the butt. That's what that one is. Dennis is here. So I thought those were a great addition to the oil can that I just got because I didn't have any XL stuff anyway. Now I got two matchbooks to go with my quart. So now Chunky Bite is in the office. She's not out. There's another black one out here. Uh, I, I think these were XL stations. I think that's what these matchbooks were for. So anyway, yeah, there's a black one running around here too. That's what we've got for tonight. Hey, it looks like it worked. It looks like we actually survived. We got through all the stuff for tonight. So like I said, a lot more stuff coming up. I've still got a few more, to a few more toys from the last Missouri run. Um, I still got the super cool piece. Yes, scrawny butt, yeah. Uh, the super cool... Big Kahuna toy, we got to get with you. All the stuff I've been buying those last couple of days, like I said, there's two boxes of small toys, bunch of cans, bunch of license plates, bunch of magazines, some of the best matchbooks ever. If you guys like matchbooks, you are not going to want to miss the several auctions. Now, I do not have an XL sign. I don't even know if I've ever even seen an XL sign. They're extremely rare, so if, if they even had them. Perfect, Deloy, no problem. Give me a shout whenever. But anyway, that's what we've got for tonight. It worked. We made it through. It actually set up right. We got through everything tonight. It, uh, amazingly, the system cooperated. Wow, what a concept. So glad that it worked out tonight. Glad you guys were able to stop by. I hope you enjoyed the stuff. Had a little bit of a good mix tonight. We'll get some of that other stuff worked in. And like I said, these next several Sundays, I got some cool stuff. We, I try to keep some cool stuff around anyway, and I got some even neater stuff that I've been coming up with. So Kenny enjoyed it. Peter enjoyed it. Glad you guys liked it. Like I said, I've got more cans that I got more cans. I got more toys. We got so much stuff to share with you guys coming up. Glad you guys swung by. Maybe I'll start you know, working a few more pieces in to start burning through some of this stuff before I forget where some of it's at. <laughs> and like I said, some of it we're going to be sharing with you guys on Sunday night auctions. So. Yep, that's right, Randy. The technology actually worked tonight. So, <laughs> uh, you guys were for 57 minutes last week. Holy cow. Yeah, I literally, I mean, I just, I shut it off and went back to work. I had a list of stuff to do that night. So, that's what I went and did. Can you just hit the like button? Appreciate that. Same as Bill. And uh, with that, I guess we'll go ahead and wrap, start wrapping things up. I need to decide what else I'm going to put up this week. Um, still got some new inventory. I got, I got to put that video up where I dug through that trailer house. And then like four minutes later, they ripped it apart. So they're ripping it apart to get the metal and everything off the wood and stuff. So that's actually pretty cool. Amico signs near you in the shop. I don't know if I've got any Amico signs. I don't think I've got an Amico sign, actually. I'd have to look, but I don't remember one. So... <laughs> So we've got that stuff. We've got more Auburn Corps Duesenberg. We've got more some other salvage yard stuff from when I'm out on the road. we got a lot of cool stuff coming up, plus a lot of inventory we haven't even shared with you yet. So a lot of stuff I haven't even shot videos on. 
on new inventory all coming up. Um, let's see, Sunday night, 7 o'clock, we'll do live chat again. We will have, uh, then I need one. Yep, that's true, Mark. Then I need one. That's a good, that's a good excuse. Um, the, uh, obviously the raffle coming up here in a few weeks and, uh, you never know. I think, uh, oh, big job. I've got you ready to go, but I haven't had time to dig your address out. If you can get me your address, I can get that out. I bought, I got you boxed up Saturday, ran out of time to try to dig your address out. So it's still here, um, on your shipment. But, uh, anyway, that, uh, that being said, uh, I've been thinking about, how about Phillips 66 as we had them here? Yeah, there's a Phillips right back there. Right over there, there's a 30-inch 30 in, 30 inch Phillips. So um, I'm thinking about kind of livening up the raffle as well. No, Mark, your check did not get here today. So I don't know what the, what the deal is with that, but no, I did not get it. And uh, I'm thinking about maybe, perfect, big job, that'll work great. I, uh, I'm thinking about uh, maybe grabbing an extra name here and there out of the raffle can at random times. So keep that in mind. I bought uh, a bunch of cool little toys here over these last week or so. And we may start working some of those in and some extra name grabs. So never know when we might do that. But I think I'm going to start doing that once or twice a month just to kind of liven up the raffle a little bit. So we're not just sitting there waiting for the big, waiting for the big one at the end of the month. Even though this month is going to be great because... Every name out of the hat is going, every name out of the big vehicle can is going to get a cool truck. So anyway, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up. I'm going to get back to work. Got a little ways to go yet tonight. Hope everybody has a great week. Stay tuned. We'll get some more cool content up. Glad everything worked out tonight. That made me feel a little bit better that uh, things clicked. So, uh, oh, Peter, they had the ones with the red and white on the Phillips uh, down and down under. So anyway. That being said, I'll keep an eye on the comments here for just a few more seconds, a few things still popping up. And uh, I'm going to get back to work. I hope you guys all have a great week. We will see you definitely Sunday night, 7 o'clock for Sunday Night Live Chat. Have a great week, everybody. Stay tuned. More cool videos coming up. And we'll see you Sunday. Thanks for watching, everybody.